Good day viewers, Walter here. Today we're coming to you with a Yabo. Yet another box opening. And it's an upcoming, upcoming project I'm going to be trying. I thought I'd share it with my viewers. But first I want to take a minute and get a little bit political out there for you people. Especially to some of you liberal-minded Donald Trump haters. It wouldn't matter if that man was giving you the minute the moon, you'd find something wrong with it. Now I'm going to talk about these immigrants trying to come into the United States. Just briefly, and I'm going to express my opinion whether he agrees with you or not. Those thousands of people down there trying to come in this country, well the other day about a thousand of them tried to force their way in here, throwing rocks and injured some of the guards at the border down there trying to force their way through the fence. And as a result, they got tear gassed and re repelled. And you got these liberal-minded people, especially some of these movie star actors, saying they should be allowed to come right into this country. Now them forcing their way and telling us what they're going to come into our country is no different than me coming over to your house and saying, I'm here to stay. I'm living with you now. What are we going to have for supper? I know you're going to feed me. There's no difference. So you liberal people that are pitching such a pit saying open the gates and let them come on in here. I advise you to strongly think twice. It ain't just those people. You change the laws and how can people can come in this country and we'll have them coming from every country in the world to get over here. We're already overpopulated, and that's my opinion. Now let's move on to my Yabo. Went over to Lowe's Building Materials today. I made a video yesterday, first of all. Uh, didn't do nothing but grind some limbs with my limb grinder out there in the backyard and use my electric chainsaw, and it wasn't that much of a video. It was just me running around working all day, but it did benefit me. I lost three pounds with all that walking around yesterday. I had to weigh myself every day because of my heart condition. In fact, I'm on diuretic, so I know how much I weigh each day. But today at Lowe's, I bought a Shoemaker 750 watt, 1500 peak watts inverter. I bought this at Lowe's Building Materials. They had two different kinds. One was $38 or something. I paid this one was $48, but they got it with my veterans discount, so it was $44. Now let's open it up. Well, oh, we'll take a look at what's in here. Now I don't understand how they work. It, I've got a conception, and I might be wrong, but I'm wondering if it'll work off my riding lawn more, my zero turn more. Uh, the small battery on a lawnmower might not be enough cranking amps to operate this inverter, but all I need is enough electricity to run my little electric chainsaw and I can drive around the property cutting limbs and I won't have to drag out my big generator. I re recently, last year, I put wheels and tires on my big generator, but it's a pain to drag out all the time if I can use this inverter. Now, if it won't work on the lawnmower, I'll just drive my pickup truck out there and try it. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next video or two. We're going to check out this inverter and see if it'll work. The price was definitely right. If it'll run my little Harbor Freight chainsaw, I'm going to say it was worth it. I've got a lot of limbs back there that need cutting, and I don't like the idea of running extension cords all over the property. Okay, we got some wires that definitely need to be hooked up. Cigarette lighter attachment. A little bitty manual, probably in Chinese. But there's the dooflunker. There's where you hook your wires up. Oh, it's got a USB plug on it, too. It's 
Got two electrical plugs on it, a USB plug. I got no idea what these buttons do. It's probably power on and off. A digital readout right there. Maybe that'll give you the voltage. I'd tell you the model number if I could find it. Anyway, I'm only out $34, uh, $44. If it don't work, we'll find something we can use it for. But I got a sneaking hunch it might work. Now, wouldn't it be something if I could use it on my lawnmower? I'll try it on the lawnmower just to see if it'll run that chainsaw. And if it does, then at that point, I'll build a special bracket on the lawnmower to hold it. But just to hook it up and try it, I don't need to build any brackets to install it. And if I have to use it on my pickup truck, I'll just plug it in the cigarette lighter and do it. Anyway, that's my Yabo for today. And uh, my reprimand to all the liberals out there who think that this world owes them a living. There's people all part signing off.